So this is a great cover that was gifted to me by my uncle about six years ago. It's from, uh, it's a World War II wool great coat. And uh, this is just a modification I did to it to make it a hell of a lot warmer. Because this was my winter coat for quite a few years while I lived in Michigan. Uh, so I used to hunt coyotes. And uh, what I did was I lined the collar with coyote fur. Just cut a piece, I traced it with a piece of paper and cut that out and then put it on a coyote hide and cut it out with a big uh, X-Acto knife or like a box cutter, I guess almost like a knife. Uh, and that keeps it a heck of a lot warmer, it keeps the warmth in. Because the coat itself keeps the warmth in really well, keeps the wind out really well. It can get wet, it'll be okay. And then, another thing I did was I actually turned this inside out and lined this whole cuff here with coyote hide. My this is completely reversible. I just sewn it in. You kind of see some of the stitching there. This was probably the second thing I've ever sewn in my life. This was, again, about four or five years ago. But this traps the heat in, so your hands never cold. Because your hands are, like, right here in here. Your fingertips might be sticking out, and that's about it. So you can just keep, you know, you don't have to wear gloves, and your hands will be warm. It just keeps the heat right in there. And I did that to this one as well. But again, it's all completely reversible, so it's not doing any damage to it. I can take it off and put it on my next great coat if need be but I do plan on getting an Imperial Russian great coat to do this too uh, probably not the collar but at least the cuffs because oh my god it's a huge difference in warmth because I mean you can you can barely even see in there and imagine having your hands in there it's great it's warm and it's just a quick tip I thought I'd share yeah thank you for watching